Happy Friday, everybody. It's your girl, Sarah, the instrumentalist. Hope you guys had a wonderful week. Welcome to Microwave Beats with Sarah, the instrumentalist. It's me. Happy Friday. Hope you guys are doing well. Been feeling good. Had a good week. How's your week been? I'm just playing um, some music. That's on my Spotify right now. Turn it down. But I appreciate you guys coming through. <laughs> J Beats and Waves. We got DJ Scratch 98. Low Cuts in. What's up? Appreciate you, Superman. Thank you so much for following me for the, for your years. I believe you. There are some people that have been following me, following me before I even was making music. Like, if you know, you know. Like, I'm, I've been doing YouTube longer than I've been making music. <laughs> yeah, I had a whole different channel. And if you can find it, you are an OG. It's still out there. I have like, I even have like videos of me rapping, like a whole different version of me. Maybe we'll do a reaction to that one day. But anyways, happy Friday. What's up, West Oregon? Appreciate you guys showing up today. Today's New Music Friday. So we're going to play some music that I just released. I was just playing um, the release that I released last week, which is called Riding Around. Three new singles, and then I have two more today called The Art of Staying Present. And today's episode is sponsored by Distro Kid. I know Lucy wants to talk about it. So basically, um, I'm going to also show you guys uh, a few cool tips of how to submit your music, how to stay consistent being an independent artist um, using DistroKid. You can, if you haven't used DistroKid or actually submitted your music to streaming platforms, the link is down below. You can get 7% off your first year. It's only $19 a year. Literally, there's no excuse. Like, when people tell me they're not releasing music, I'm just like, it's literally $19. It's $20. It's a lunch meal. You know? Right, Lucy? Ugh. Lucy said uh, she even has an account. She produces. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on, baby? But yeah, um, I'm going to play some music that I just made or that I just released. So let me pull it up here. Ooh, Lucy, stop. What are you doing? So this is last week's release called Riding Around. Let's head to my profile. And boom, we got new music. Before I play my music, um... Shout outs to all the other creators releasing music. This week, Knife Wonder dropped a dope beat tape. Zion, whatever number he's on, <laughs> I don't know. Um, Eldre dropped his album, Lo Fi Symphony, which is really dope. Um, very chill, mellow. Um, De La Soul. De La Soul, y'all, I don't know if you know this, but it has not been on streaming services at all. And since the day, today is the day where you can go stream De La Soul's music. I'm very happy about that. I'm gonna have a lot we have a lot of music to listen to this weekend. So is there any other music that you guys um seen that's been released today? Um yes. But speaking of released music, make sure you guys uh save the art of staying present actually. Let me do this real quick. Yeah, I know. Just wants to be all over me. So it's all good. It's all good. Let me drop the song. If you guys don't use Spotify, there's an Apple Music link. Whatever link you use, uh, just add these me this song to your to your your jazzy chill playlist. This one is called "The Art of Staying Present." I made this from scratch from my brain to Spotify. Here we go. Shout out 
Shout out to my piano teacher. <laughs> That one is called It's Up To You, parentheses me, <laughs> you know? Those are my two latest new singles out today, February, not February, it's March. Oh my God, how, woo! I'm so happy it's March, y'all have no idea. I'm so happy. It's my favorite month. But yeah, I got new music coming out every week this month. Until the 24th, I have a whole album coming out. All the music is from scratch. Made here on this Yamaha MOX6. I It's my favorite keyboard, synthesizer, whatever you want to call it. 10 out of 10. So glad I went to Guitar Center and played around with these old keyboards. They don't sell anymore. Um, 10 out of 10. First of all, shout out to you guys. Shout out to Melissa. Thank you so much for uh, sharing your music with your children. I really appreciate that. It means a lot to me because that's where I learned music from my, my family and just being around others and 
Like, I love kids. Like, I love, I really want to figure out how I can make even more, like, good music for children or just families. Because, like, we we all want to vibe out and have a good experience, right? So I appreciate you. I appreciate that. Um, she said that she loves my music, and so do her two kids. Um, we chill out together with you in our living room, <laughs> especially when the weather's no good. Where do you live? Where are you at? Where's everyone at? I'm in I'm in LA. Nice, beautiful sunshine. It's the the rain is gone. Um, where are you guys at? I appreciate Travis. Uh, yes, my dog's grouping and she fell asleep. That's what she does. She's she's she does that. She's a studio pup. Appreciate you guys um, listening, hanging out. Um, make sure you guys download or. You know, save it, add it to your playlist. You know, it's free ninety nine to do so. You know, but uh, Massachusetts, yes, I know. I say it different differently than probably how you say it, cause y'all got that thick accent. I feel like, woo, we from Massachusetts. Yes, but um, yeah. Let me um, I'm gonna continue to play some music while I'm actually uploading some music to DistroKid. I wanted to talk about a few things. Um. Somebody had asked me on TikTok yesterday. Um, let me just turn this down. Somebody on TikTok yesterday asked me for advice on how can they, on releasing music consistently, and they also asked me about getting with a company like Epidemic Sound. So Epidemic Sound is a royalty-free library where content creators can get music for their content. It also can be for other, you know, companies, large, big, and small. So um, it's like a sync library. And I have the, the opportunity of creating music for their library. So the music that we just listened to, even this right now, is in their catalog. So if you are a content creator, you can use my music in your videos if you have an Epidemic Sound account. And I also have a link of that down below as well if you guys want to get like a free month. Um, but I know a lot of pr producers want to know how to get their music in there. So honestly, the first thing I would say is don't worry about companies. Just worry about what, what your intentions are. If you have a gift, you need to share the gift as much as possible and also be very detached. Cause I kind of feel like when I make music, I'm not sure how I'm making it. I just know it comes from something and, um, I have to make it and then when I make it it's not really mine anymore it's I just let it go I detach from it and I just make something else and move on and if it if it resonates with people it does if it doesn't it's okay I got it out my system um so my my I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm doing my dog is obviously wanting to get up go up you need to get uh -uh. you need to be good Lay down. Here, I got some treats for her. Yeah, you guys want to see her? Not crazy. Lay down. Good girl. Good Lucy. Stay. Ah, <sighs> being a dog mom. So fun. We got New Orleans. We got Atlanta in the house. Minnesota. Ohio, hope you're doing good in Ohio. For real, for real, I'm like concerned. <laughs> I'm like, oh Lord. Um, how's things in Ohio? Give us an update. How are you doing? He said, I am an earthling. I'm into beans. That's what's up. There's a lot of beans out there. Anyways, you know, as I'm gonna, um, navigate through this website here in this digital kit thing um i'm gonna share with you guys some tips and what i'm doing right now like literally as we speak right now um as you can tell i'm releasing music every single week and in order for me to do that i would have to make music ahead of time so a lot of the music that's being released now i made last year and honestly the let me take a step back. Before, I was releasing like an EP or an album almost every month. 
like consistently you can go to my profile and see that like let's see I have literally a huge discography of music but if you look at the dates they're all like some of them are from the same year so I was just releasing, releasing every month and it worked out for me. So like when you release music, that was the first thing I did because I, I was working a full time job, also working for Epidemic releasing music. So like as I'm, you know, I would make music for them and then we release it as a, a project. So we did it every month. So that worked out. That helped me get to 100, 100 million streams on Spotify um, and a whole bunch of other stuff. And right now, like the goal is to continue to do the same thing, but take it up a little bit. I'm not sure uh, because I know what works. I know dropping uh, projects consistently works because what that does it allows the playlist editors because you can pitch your music to playlist editors. Um, once you go to DistroKid, upload up, upload your music. Like a couple of days afterwards, you can pitch your music to Spotify playlist editors. And some people spend so much time on like one project and pitching it because you don't really only can pitch one song of that project. So, and you also want to give them enough time to listen, which I recommend like two to three weeks, at least a week. They need at least a week, but for sure, like a good month, three, three weeks or whatever. So, I know what works for me because I like I said if I release if I released a EP or a project every month I would get placed in a playlist because they know I was consistent but I also was detached I if it didn't get placed I whatever I'm gonna make I'm gonna keep making music right so I'm doing the same thing I'm releasing EP I've released the EP um the music that I'm releasing an album this month but instead of me just releasing all of the music all at once in one day, I'm sprinkling. And this is called like the waterfall method. It's basically literally releasing bits and pieces and then putting it all into one project. So this month is Sarah's Keys, releasing the 24th. It's got eight songs. I'm releasing two of them each week up until the 24th. I'll have like an entire week like two weeks to digest that and we're gonna move on to some more music <laughs> we're gonna start a new theme um and i'm gonna show you this theme because that's something i'm doing personally these are my my own side projects where i'm releasing a beat tape but instead of just dropping a full beat tape in one day i'm gonna be like dropping two songs at a time slowly building up to the full release and like I said, if you're if you're consistent on these platforms, they love it. Eventually, they'll start noticing, oh, this person's releasing music consistently. And also, you know, when one week it may not hit, the next week it may hit. You never know. Like you never know, you know. So my suggestion right now, I'm going to show you guys, is to make music ahead of time and plan it out in advance. So let's see if I go to my distro kid, I can see the music that I've already released. And um, I have two songs that are already scheduled um, for April the 7th. So the next following week, we're gonna release two more songs. I have the songs done. I'm gonna show you that process. And then also like the artwork is similar to it's got a, it's a theme like um so let me show you guys here it is this is the artwork to the second versions of these uh these tracks i generated like ai little monsters of me <laughs> And each monster is different and each monster represents a song and each each release has a different color um in the background so like the first 
release that's happening in April looks like this. And then this is the second week in April or the third week in April. And then I have literally assets for each week already made. And I just got to put the music in there. I've got the music done for, for this week. And then today we're going to make some more music. And we're, it's going to be part of pack three, which is going to be in the middle of April. So it's just like literally a waterfall. Constantly making music and also promoting music that's coming out. So like last week, I made this really dope. Um, I had made this dope um, 360 uh, <laughs> visual, literally got the car within a week, manifested it, crazy. That's a long, that's, that's a long story short, but like really being committed to being an artist and genuinely like figuring out how to show off the music and be have fun and also be detached. So I'm not really like worried about people. Like right now, a lot of people haven't seen my visuals cause I could see the views, but behind the scenes, something really big happened because I got this specific car and I can't even really talk about it cause it isn't fully manifested, but things are manifest just because I fully am committed to, um, to, to making the music having promotions wherever what what whether it's showing you guys behind the scenes of a song and tiktoks um making really short music videos um things like that visualizers um and then also making new music and promote like slowly like scheduling out be, being detached because you know you get so attached to one thing and like oh no i'm upset that uh this didn't work out it's okay make some something else maybe it'll pop off later you know so um you said that you're not by the d um the train derailment you're in columbus but other than that we're all good are you sure i saw the movie white noise this week and i was like oh lord so yeah um anyways I'm going to let's see Ooh. sorry about that Play some music real quick. Let's head over to Distro Kid. Like I said, the link is down below. This video is sponsored by Distro Kid. If you guys need uh, access to a good percentage off your first year, if you've never used it, the link's down below. Really like Distro Kid. Been using it for years. Literally, this is literally uploading this project. Conversations is what got me to where I'm at with, with Epidemic Sound. Like if I didn't create my first beat tape. They wouldn't have emailed me. So I use Distro Kid. So holla holla. So here we are. We're going to upload some music. Um, and, and this is a really. I also have like a VIP situation going on. So it may look a little different than the basic plan. There's different plans. Before, you know, I go through setting it up. How much does it cost? We got $19 a year for one band slash artist. But. You know, the one thing that I intend to do is actually create a whole different artist name, a whole different artist brand, has nothing to do with Sarah, may not even have a face, but I want to make like, like ambient, spiritual meditation, yoga, really good, easy on the ear music, you know, spa music. <laughs> so you can do that with, with Distro Kid, you can have um, multiple um, you know, bands or artist names if you um, upgrade the account. And then they have other things where you have like different bands and art. So if you're a record label, if you want to, per, you know, release your homies music uh, and not have them worry about it, this is what you can do. So you can legit run your own business with DistroKid, which is really dope. So here we are. We're going to upload the, the two songs for the second week. The second or third week of April, actually, let's check the calendar real quick. I'm gonna check my phone. We're gonna schedule it for the 14th of April. So here we are, we have, you get to choose your, um, 
where you want your music to be heard so many different distribution channels really nice um we're gonna upload two songs it has not been previously released i then can put my name choose the release date april 14th then we get to choose the time so if you want to be very strategic um i like to just go with the generic default time at uh, 12 a.m would you would what do i want you to pre-order sure why not pre-order date let it be a week before on the 7th record labels no quantize and then i get to upload the album art and i could change this later on if i want to i think i may add some other like little color or pattern to it at the bottom or something and we're gonna call this project it's a good question it's always oh, it's always what are we gonna name it well one of the songs is called multiple sources so we're gonna call it that you can choose the price i'm gonna ch um choose 199 since there's two songs choose which language there's really no language it's universal choose the genre hip-hop i'm not going to choose a secondary one um the first song title i'm actually going to listen to them real quick just to see the order Ooh, this song is loud yes that's going to be first He's so sweet. Go back to this real quick. All right. Added features. No, there's no features. This is where you can add, you know, someone collaborated. If this is a radio edit version. And then I'm going to upload the actual song. I could then choose if this was recorded or mixed in Adobe Atmos. I really it would like to do that at some point. But no, today it's not. And I did write this song. It's an original tune. It's not a cover. And then here I'm going to write. I'm just going to just write my whole name here. But y'all not going to see it. I couldn't see my. Hold on one second. I don't need you to know my whole stuff. You don't need to know everything. <laughs> you don't need to know everything. It asks if you have it, if it has explicit lyrics. Nope. The song is also clean. Is it an instrumental? I choose this song as an instrumental and contains no lyrics. And then this is really important. So there's a part that says preview clip start time. So if you're using TikTok and you want, you have like a trending specific sound or timing that you want the song to start in TikTok, this is where you can choose. I like to have my song start in the beginning because then they can then choose themselves like where they want to cut out you know the song so so same thing for track number two I'm gonna put the name no collaborations I'm gonna add the, the song pretty straightforward I'm not it's because I'm the only person on this thing and it's not a cover pretty straightforward really easy process and I that's what I I enjoy about using distro kit it's very easy to to just upload your music there's no explicit lyrics this is an instrumental and we want it to start at zero zero it's a dollar you have some extras some extra options 
um so most of the time i just skip over these but it's worth looking at because if you do want to um you know have your music heard on you know was it like shazam let me see no they actually have a something called a discovery pack you can add this album to major global d databases that catalog and acknowledge your music information for only 99 cents per track which is really dope and then here's the youtube um, content id and youtube creator music it's uh, only 15 dollars or 14.95 a year and you get 20 percent of your youtube ad revenue from matches we detect which is really good really dope you have a few other options even like getting a, um, a social phone number which is dope i think it's really important to connect with your audience a few other things like um leave a legacy if you were an artist that have kids and um something happens to you or you want you don't want your music to stop playing on on these stream platforms you want to hit that button but yeah i'm going to go ahead and finish it off by checking off everything else it asks you you know did you select youtube music and if you did don't complain about an email <laughs> that you're going to receive um it asks i it'll say did you record this music am i am i authorized to sell it in stores worldwide and collect all royalties very important yes i am not using any other artist name sign song title or label album name none of that we're not doing any of that non-standard capitalization detecting you know weird letters and stuff they don't like that and i've definitely taken the time to read the terms and conditions there's definitely some things you want to read as far as like the, the album artwork requirements um things to that nature but it's very easy see how easy that was hit done boom uploads the album artwork into two tracks right then and there very easy now we have music scheduled for april the 14th so today's march the third I have music literally coming out already scheduled and then today we're gonna make new music we can make like two new songs and that'll be out the next two weeks and then we may have songs on our on our computer that are halfway done that just need a couple of sprinkles those can be released we just you know we just make 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 and release release detach the art of detachment the law of detachment um let's see let me pull up chrome do i recommend ableton ableton's dope like i don't use it <laughs> it's dope just like fruity loops um i would highly recommend it i would i feel like if i wasn't using machine i would be using ableton and i feel like that's the next step but i i don't want to just half you know half ass i really want to take the time to understand ableton so there, there will be a day where i use it and you know and use machine as a, a vst which would enhance my my workflow so but um, I'm a machinist, a machinist, like the most, the most, the mostest. And that's it. Done. Wasn't that, that was easy, wasn't it? Yeah, it was very easy. Very easy to submit music. And then, um, so what's going to happen is I'm going to receive an email. They're going to say, hey, everything looks great. And then I'm going to receive another email saying, hey, the song has been submitted to all of these stores apple music spotify da, 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 da. once i receive that email i'm going to go to artist.spotify.com and then there's a window literally usually it's right there in the front it'll say hey pitch this song to pl playlist editors click it it'll ask you a few questions you'll choose one of the songs from your project and then submit it 
um i believe you can only do one at a time so i'm having to pitch every single week but <laughs> last week i did get on a playlist even though the song even though my songs were delayed and like put in the store at a very short period of time it did get on a playlist so we, we're on a good start you know so that was very easy if you guys have any other questions about like um setting up music i highly recommend to upload your music and just you know move on so yes so let me just mm, yeah let's make some music let's make some tunes i had this thing going earlier To the microwave, uh, to the
It's okay. You be hearing sounds. Thanks for protecting that. I appreciate you. I appreciate that. I'm going to save this joint. I'm going to pull up some samples. Let's pull up some. So many things, so many things. Like me, I'm organized. Hmm. That's it. That's it. That's all. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do is say yes. You ain't gotta worry. Just say yes. You ain't gotta. Do, you ain't gotta say. You say two words, girl. bootleg uh, you can feel it in the streets on a day like this the heat it feels like summer back for that section later <laughs> you know it's crazy it was crazy sir he needs some milk I need to see someone use Cubase. I be, you know, it's cute. Was not Cubase? What, what software did that? What, what device came with Cubase? Was it Yamaha? I be sleeping. I slept on Yamaha until last year. Ooh, girl, girl. So you could be, you could be right with the Cubase. Reason, y'all use Reason out there. It's always one person. It'll be one. It'll always be one person. And I don't even know where y'all learned that. Where? Because I don't see any video. I mean, maybe if I'm. If, Find it where it here we go.
I just pulled out No Quantize Presents Dusty Drums Volume 1. You guys should check it out. I made it so easy to just drop drum loops and just get to the point. We're getting straight to the point, you know? We're... This song will be out in April. <laughs> the what? April the uh the next the, the next day, the following week. Um, let me just grab this for y'all. So y'all can rejoice in the, the in the abundance of uh the same thing that I have. There's no gatekeeping here. There is no gatekeeping. I just made a video about how to create AI. You guys should check it out. How you can create your own album artwork with AI real quick in a couple of minutes. Um, if you guys want to use that um, version, that bat, that bot, it is in my Discord. And the Discord link is in the sound pack. So if you have already downloaded Dusty Drums Volume 1, there is a file that says, Open me Discord link. Um, and uh, you can... Go ham. Generate those images. And also, s s let me know what beats you've made with the, with the sound pack. Classic. I'm going to go ahead and record this.
Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Surgical with it. Yeah, I get it in it. Why do you do that? Oh, it's because I don't have it on follow. Uh, DJ Scratch ninety eight asked me, "Am I going to another when a where I go to a record store and get some random LP, chop it up, make a beat?" Um, see the thing about me and records, I have a problem. Um, I have a lot of them already, <laughs> so I will, I will, you know, I have made it my mission to not be so to not consume so much you know um i already have i have everything i need i have everything i need everything i need and want right now back here i got albums that haven't even opened yet <laughs> albums that i've purchased in different countries that i haven't fully even listened to so what we can do um the thing about records is that you get copyright strikes strikes very very un unfortunate so when I make those, when I have, when I flip vinyl, I have to, that has to be like a, a, a YouTube video essentially, but it has to be a lot of editing because I can't play the whole thing. And then when you're, when you think you're done, you upload it to um, YouTube and it's like so-and-so has detected so-and-so song, you're in video and you're like, great, got to re-edit it and remove a lot of stuff out. So it's really unfortunate. I wish we could. It used to be. A, I feel like it used to be a lot easier for us to just chop up vinyl and make videos. But I can't do it on the stream. <laughs> I can't do it on Twitch. Um, even though people say they've done it, I can't have it on demand afterwards because I'll get flagged. So, um, so it's like this weird place where I'm just like I'm being more intentional. I'm using um, like this. The sample here is from Sample the Sample Lab which has an amazing collection of samples that are royalty free that you can use and they they are not, you know, from vinyl, but they are they the sound cla this sounds like a classic already. This sounds like a vinyl thing. And I could add like, you know, a little vinyl emulation and that you know also publish it without any problems, not even having to clear it. So like <sighs> the world we live in, if we really could do what we really wanted to, you know, I would be sampling vinyl every day. I'd be grabbing stuff and just, tch, tch, tch. but um, you know, you gotta be very surgical with the the editing in order to, to you know, do that. So, the answer is 
not today. <laughs> I've got a lot of content that you can watch that, that has a lot of that. Um, but probably over the summer, maybe we'll take some trips to some record 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 stores um, and uh, flip some stuff. But yeah, not today. Soon. Soon. Yeah. Um. Hey, Glaze uh, Swiss. They asked, do I mind using one of my songs for the intro song? So what you have to do in order to use my music in um, your content, there's a link down below that says, do you need, ble um, need beats? And you get a 30 day free trial from Epidemic Sound. You have to um, have an Epidemic license to use my my Epidemic music, which is most of my music. <laughs> so um, at least at this point, the music that um, that I'm releasing on my own. Um, I haven't figured that out because it's not meant to be for content creators. So it's just meant to listen to Um. But I would, ha I would on DistroKid, hit that, that content um, ID option. So I may consider that. So, um, but, but at least for most of my music, you can't use my music. You don't even have to ask me. You could go to Epidemic, sign up. There's a lot. Download music. You can download the stems of my music and put it in your, um, in your podcast. <coughs> um, so, yes, go for it. Um, but it, it's not YouTube. It's it's not it's you know it's not YouTube copywriting. It's it's the the owners of the music. Like if I'm grabbing, you know, Spice Girls and I flip it, and they're like, we didn't intend for you to flip my music. Like there's some art, certain artists that aren't they don't like that, and I get it, I get it, you know. Um, yeah, you can get a, away with a lot of more stuff on SoundCloud, but I don't even really use. I don't even listen to SoundCloud anymore or. I don't like it. I know, like they are, they're kind of making me have to pay for everything to pay to upload music, pay to um, pay to listen, <laughs> and and it's like hella ads and, but it's good music, good good chops and you know. Can you get copyright strikes from sampled loops? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. You um, yeah. You, you know, especially if it's not really, if it's recognizable. Um, yeah, so I, I even have like some like copyright strikes from videos, from old videos that come out like, hey, we finally detected you did this. And I'm like, great, remove the monetization then. Great, great. And then uh, the owner will get the money, which is cool. Like I get it, but. If you're spending a lot of time creating content, you don't want your hard work to be taken away, <laughs> you know, and, and it easily goes to someone else. So I like to be intentional now. Um, I know that something people love to watch is like Rhythm Roulette. I love watching it. I love watching vinyl based stuff, but um, it's very tricky. It's tricky. But we, we still try to finesse it and get get around it. We're not gonna say no and not and not not do it, you know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, um this is like so I don't like using splice loops at all. Not even like pulling it up here. Like I remember I did a stream and I pulled up a song that I I was just going through songs that I had made, like just little microwave beats and one of them had a splice loop and this is not even a song I release at all. I had intentionally said in the video, I'm not releasing this because it has a splice loop and I got a copyright flag instantly on a live stream. <laughs> it's crazy. So, um, yeah, so it is what it is. It's just like, it's like a battle of producers at, or produ producing. So like, for an example, my new projects that are coming out this month, everything is from scratch. I love it. But composing that music, it takes a lot longer than it is to obviously just flip a sample and add some drums and a bass line. Like really coming out with like chord progressions and keys and different, you know, 
bridges and all that stuff it's really good it's worth trying to like push yourself to to compose music but i don't i don't live in my i do everything today we're doing sample based stuff but i also am being smart about it and not using aretha franklin's <laughs> you know music today you know because uh, i want to be able to have this this live um on demand after after today so yeah um yeah soundcloud's too many ads for me too many but i will i will go there to get my catron out of fix he has his best catalog in soundcloud um wish he had the ability to release it on stream platforms but because he like sampled like janet jackson if that's a big song i don't even know what it would require for him to 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 clear it but that's why it's not on streaming platforms but if i want to listen to it i'll go to soundcloud <sighs> um you can definitely the thing about sam sample packs they 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 try to white so for an example like the the company that i've gotten my samples pack from they they put in their email that they'll try to the white list um the people that have purchased a license to a sound pack so you don't have issues on youtube um which is a great thing they really try to stay on top of that and you can always contact them so like if you've purchased a license to your 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 music even if it is a splice thing you can you know you can dispute it and you know figure it out so never stop yourself from making music you know just do it okay what's up accurate beats we got the homie here shout outs to you we're talking about sampling you know someone asked me if i if i can make another video about you know like rhythm roulette and i told them how you know i got a lot of records here and plus playing records is a huge issue i would love to do it live but you know i would like to have this video up later <laughs> and not have to remove it or have to demonetize it whatnot so but yeah back to the beat making i love y'all <laughs> this sample and add the filter on that channel eq it or something or something <laughs> so many plugins what am i thinking i'm thinking of fat filter the good old fat filter <laughs>
this works. Right, that's, that's, not, that's, not, that's not what I asked for, sir. Gosh. So many plugins, Jesus. I need like pictures. You know, these words ain't doing it for me. You know, like, you know when you go to a restaurant? This is my little rant. You know when you go to a restaurant and ain't nothing but words on the menu? I be like, you has got to be kidding me. I gotta go to Yelp. You gotta have a neurodivergent um, menu and a neurotypical one. We need a neuro, you need a neurodivergent plugin. <laughs> A plug in this, so I because all these words. Here we go. Is this is makes me think a little extra harder, you know. This beat to be real long. <laughs> too much, too much wobbly, wibbly, bobbly, boobly, bobbly, what up, DJ D Live? First time in the live. Appreciate you coming through. Making some microwave beats. Let's get it.
going to do. Can open my eyes, girl. At that time. question for the people watching do you guys get on twitch do you guys use twitch this is just a survey question for the 26 people watching right now do you go on twitch to watch your favorite producer or gamer because i am wondering what the people in the streets do because like i'll be honest with you i'll be honest I didn't get on Twitch until I started using Twitch as a, like a producer. So I'm trying to wrap my head around who actually gets on Twitch, the audience. And I'm assuming in my brain it's kids cause, or gamers or I don't know. I don't know. Because I'm trying to figure out should I be on Twitch one day, YouTube one day, both, neither one. I don't just stick to one YouTube, you know. Okay, cool. We got two people that said they use Twitch. Okay, good to know. Cause uh, well, I'm trying to figure it out. It's been two, at least two weeks, two months of streaming live. I first started on Twitch, and of course, cause it's brand new to me, I'm like, there's no one here. I just started to do both on YouTube and Twitch. Now I'm on just YouTube because. I like YouTube. I enjoy that. It's my audience. I've been, you guys are used to me. Um, I like the trailer. I like the thumbnail. I like the notification. It's dope. And YouTube likes to pay. YouTube pays well, at least when you're doing YouTube stuff, you know. Yes. Good. So I may, I may, I'm definitely for sure going to be on here on YouTube on Fridays. When it comes to Twitch, I'll probably get on, like, randomly when I feel like the need to just turn on and just go. But for sure, with con for consistency, I'm going to show up here 2 p.m. Fridays um, to, you know, play the new music that I've released, make some new music. Also, I have, like, lots of, I have literally boxes, and I kid you not, have boxes of new gear that I have not opened, <laughs> and I'm just, like, I'm also like not wanting to rush myself because I don't like to pretend like I know what's going on. I'm, I'm no, I know as much as y'all know. I'm like, what the hell is this? What's this button? So like, there's definitely some tools I got. I'm like, I need to wrap my head around maybe before I even talk about it, but maybe we'll do unboxings, you know? Um, you know, but, um, cross streaming is the best. It takes, Long time to build a Twitch following, especially in the music category. Yes, you're definitely right. I appreciate that, that reminder. And, well, that's good to know. I, I'm not going to get, you know, get rid of my Twitch. It's just that I think it's important for me to do one at a time, you know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure it out. I've been seeing other people like DJ DJ Jazzy Jeff, he be on everywhere. He be on Instagram, YouTube. He don't, you know, nobody cares, you know. 
I just get I'm just trying to figure out what's best for me. And like I like hearing y'all's opinion, especially that y'all are actually watching me. But um yeah, I'll definitely be here for sure consistently. Fridays. YouTube. Scheduling with the trailer and all that stuff with intention. Twitch, a little bit looser, a little bit showing up. Hey, how you doing? I'm here. I'm here. I'm gone. Random. So we'll do both. Well, the thing about having multiple chat, there's a program called Restream. They put all the chats in one place. So it's really not like it's a problem. That's like the rebuttal from Twitch. You're like, well, you can, can't talk to both. I'm like, yeah, I can. I actually can. I'm actually talking to everyone at once. But it's like, I don't know. One one platform doesn't like the other. Like, I'm not saying they don't like each other, but YouTube wants you to stay on YouTube. Twitch wants you to stay on Twitch. I get it. So we'll give them both. We'll give them both on separate days. So, you know. Back to the song. I'm going to basically make sure I know the notes of uh, what we're listening to. I'm pretty sure I'm almost in the right area, but nothing wrong with verifying. Gonna move this. That's not it. Speaking of toys, drop in the comments what you guys want me to showcase. If there's any gear that you're like, ooh, want to watch more of that, drop in the comments. Let me see if I can get access to it and we can talk about it. Definitely, definitely got one that someone mentioned. I was like, ooh, that's great. It's it's here. Um, I'm literally, I don't even know how to set it up. <laughs> it's like, I got it, but how do I do it? How do I, how do, I do this thing? So we got a D flat. What is this? An F minor E. Let me turn this thing off.
I literally got the email that I was telling y'all about. It says your music has been submitted to these stores. Less than an hour, right? Boom. <laughs> oh, oh. And honestly, I think I've I've actually dropped music like the next day. It's totally doable. <laughs> like I just dropped this today. That's the coolest part about living into this today's age. There's like I can remember a lot of artists not being able to release their music at all and it takes it took a long time for them to just get things done. Now like as an independent artist, I think we have the advantage, period. Like of course like distribution like brands like record labels, they have a lot more reach and a lot more budget. But the best thing of like one one thing I'm gonna tell you guys, one of the things I think the definition of success as a music artist is being able to Make your own music, release your own music how you want to, whether it's like, you know, how the aesthetics look, the sound, you know, how it's distributed, and literally giving it your all and then being able to just release it whenever you want, however you want. That's really success. The other stuff, the aftermath, like if it's, if it, it's quote unquote successful in the in the rights of like people listening to it or people enjoying it, that's also an added bonus. But a lot of artists don't even get to release their own music, let alone consistently. And as an independent artist, you can do that. I think it's dope. You know? So
Appreciate it.
Nice. Gotta save your projects. Right, Lucy? Yeah, are you okay? Somebody making noises out there. Pissing your nap off. I'm taking a puppy nap. She's serious, serious about her puppy naps, y'all. She does not mind getting interrupted. Saving my project. Let's export the song real quick just to have a reference for later. I'll be able to polish it up, finish it up. I'm going to drop it in pack three. I'm going to add a new folder. I'm going to call it original samples. I'm going to drop it in there at some point. And then let me grab. This. What up, Antoine? Antoine. Thank you so much for digging what I do. I appreciate you. Thank you for coming through. And Lois, I'm so grateful to be an inspiration to you. I appreciate you. And thank you for supporting my business and grabbing a sound pack. Speaking of sound packs, head over to noquantize.com. There's a new sound pack called Dusty Drums Volume 1. The craziest and best drums I've ever made in my life. Right there. Also, there's a Discord link so you can generate dope images for your artwork. In the Discord, the link is in the sound pack. It is there. Yes. Thank you for your support also offer mentorship opportunities conversations i have two courses one on the machine here one on the sp404 the m the m2 the new mark ii version check it out if you have not already so now we have a beat now i'm just going to go ahead and open a new project my art why not Let's listen to some more samples. already know black and yellow black and yellow <laughs> you know what it is shout out to Wiz Khalifa y'all I miss his day to day day whatever it's called he was like he's the original inspiration for YouTube he used to vlog all the time he used to vlog in his car smoke weed and then he had a tan shit was dope black and yellow black and yellow uh-huh. Okay, let's chop up a sample. Let's see what we can do with that thing do. <laughs> with that thing do. Stevie J. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Thank you. 
have these drums pulled up let's see if they work let me catch a tempo put the vibe you know go with this one Drums by you one, baby. That's an intro. We can add a little section here. Maybe turn it into like a one bar. Shout out to King Joseph. Vibe here. It's a vibe in this room, y'all.
sounds so soulful, don't you? Wouldn't you agree? Yes, it really is. That's that's the vibes over here. Soulful, peaceful, abundance, vibes. You know.
That'll do it, SpongeBob. That'll that'll do it. Okay, I see what's going on. Do it this. Okay, let's try it again. Still hear it. I'm going to have to just turn this into a gated thing. Okay, let's see if that works, but then I gotta go back and fix everything else. Make nothing up. <laughs> Drums be crazy sometimes, you know. Make sure you save your projects because if you like them, you want to keep them, you know. smooth song we got some feedback this is laid back with some lemonade and honey just watching the sun go down now i'm gonna take that and turn it into a prompt and make some artwork with that and show you how easy it is to use mid journey and like this is like you know when you make songs you figure out the name the vibe the album art the aesthetic you know you don't know up front what the name is kind of weird if you're like i'm gonna name this song whatever nah you know it as you're going and you're right this is definitely giving a uh, deep breath there's nothing on my schedule my phone isn't even connected to service so i can't even look on social media but i got my lemonade i got me some popcorn <laughs> and or like fruit some honey and my honey next to me. That's what that looks giving. It's giving. It's giving. We're headed into that season. I love this season. Spring. Oh, thank you. I'm so grateful that it's springtime. I'm going to export this real quick just to just to get started. Put in the, my pack so I could um eventually 
finish it. The process for me, once we're done, the songs we made today, I'm going to probably listen to them tomorrow to kind of just get a fresh pair of ears, add a few different elements, some bass, some sound effects, some, you know, mix it, add whatever sprinkles, any other things to it. I export the... I export it from machine and I then put it on my SP404. So I have my SP404 right here. It's pretty dope. Um, my dog treats. Um, and I basically, the cool thing about the new SP404 is that you can plug it up to your computer and there, there's an app. You can just drag the document or the file right onto the SP. You don't have to use an SD card or it's already plugged up. I basically just drop the song in here and I add some extra elements, maybe some vinyl sim, sim simulation or, you know, 303 compressor or some glitches, some, some extra things to, to make the song a little extra funky. And uh, someone uh, mentioned in the comment section that I never get my beats to sound so soulful. They sound very electric, electronic. Interesting. I really believe that music creation a lot. The most important thing is sound selection. So being a really good sound selector and knowing when things sound good. Because there's so many sounds. There's samples, there's VSTs, there's keyboards, synths, you know. And there's so many tools you can choose from. But like just like how I went through a couple of sound sounds, I instantly knew that it was right. But I also got the source from a really good sound library. In the sound library, they have um, a soul section. They have an RB section. They have a, a, you know, a like retro section. They have, you know, trap, you know, different genres and stuff. You know, I stick to my, my roots, my, my jazz, anything jazz, anything with R&B, neo soul, um, just anything soulful. I'm just adding a hip hop flavor to it, enhancing it. You know, um, it's all about sound selection. So, the one thing I say, like when I make music or when I pick out a song or a sound, really is is this pretty? Does it sound good to my ears? Does it sound good? If not, I'm moving on. Like if it's not, if it's irritating to my ears, I can't use it. You know. Um, I can't, I can't, you know, so just take some time, you know, also getting to know, like, I also know I, when I took piano lessons, I, one day my, my normal piano teacher wasn't there and I had a different teacher and this guy, so my teacher is mainly like a jazz influence piano player. And then this other person was a classical like influenced piano player and they're completely different and I found out that people that play classical music have no concept of jazz music or how to play jazz chords like they're stuck they can't even like they're doing like really basic chords where jazz artists are using you know 9 11 <laughs> chords or whatever and when I was talking with him he didn't even know you know about certain things but he he could play really well but it was classical, very classic, you know, different, a different vibe than like a jazz. So, but I told him to embrace his classical as he could make, um, like when I got my puppy, I would play classical music so she can calm down, you know, or having spa music or, you know, background music that sounds really dope. So, if, you know, if you are electronic, if you're, if your stuff is coming out electronic and that's, that's it's, and it's working you know tap into it because maybe that's what you're supposed to be doing you know I didn't really know I was going to be doing like sample based stuff like I just did, I did a 30-day challenge a few years back and I recognized that I'm really good at flipping samples and like adding elements to it and now I'm mo moving towards like creating my own jazz stuff I saw Cortex perform last year oh, so amazing he was just he just had a rose keyboard for like 10 of the songs in the last two songs. He went over to his 
his piano but he had a singer a bass player a guitar player a, a singer one singer a woman and then uh, I think the the saxophonist would play the keyboard so I think it was literally five people I don't think there was a guitarist it was I think it was just a bass it was just like four or five people and I was blown away the music they would play just from four or five people <laughs> I'm thinking it's like 20 of y'all like you know do I ever get producer block if so what do you do to get yourself in a mood to make beats so I don't really have producer block at all <laughs> I don't have that problem um I have to my problem is having too many ideas like, I have too many like I wake up like like a slingshot in the bed I'm like <laughs> Woo! when I go off and I like I'm I just I'm overstimulated with ideas not even just with music with other things outside of music that I want to do I'm like oh god I gotta do it that's that Aries energy in me but I have a balance the Scorpio moon and whatnot but what I would say is that what I did go through last year I started noticing or just even before I had got sat down by one of my ARs with epidemic this was before I was making like dance music there was just a time I was just making nothing but lo-fi he sat me down he's like your music starting to sound the same and I'm just like yeah I know because I'm just making the same stuff like with a different version and I wanted and I told him I was like, I want to make something else it's like well what do you want to do and I was like I want to make dance music I want to make happy dance music so um I got the opportunity to make some dance music it actually did very well and that helped me try something else break out of that mode of like chill lo-fi beats and more up tempo um different tools and you know different ways of mixing watching different you know went from watching like beat making stuff like traditional hip-hop to watching like disclosure <laughs> you know tutorials or you know but du duck sauce or something like a track or something like that um tutorials and um and then like last year I just know that overall like I want to get better as a music producer musician as a composer and I have so many amazing things to work on so like I started off going to piano lessons last year and it was, it's just been such a huge like every time I go to the class I'm like oh there's another room in there that I didn't even know that we could do with, with the piano there's only seven keys but we could do so many oh my gosh it's amazing and then when I go to you know go to my um lessons I can learn other instruments like the guitar the bass the drums production um vocals and I intend to do all those things. But every time I go to lessons, I end up learning more on the keys and I feel like I'm not done yet. And it's just more, I get more inspired, right? So I've taken a break from lessons. I'm, a, I'm digesting what I've learned. And um, maybe the next time I go to lessons, I'll actually do vocals which is a whole nother thing. I feel like I could sing, but I need to learn how to use my voice because it is an instrument, just like any instrument, you wanna know how to use it. Um, and if I learn how to sing correctly and record vocals correctly, that's a whole nother side of production, a whole nother, you know, music that I can create. Like, I wanna make pop music. I wanna make kids songs. I wanna make um, a whole bunch of stuff. And then like, I can play the guitar, but I wanna learn how to play really good. Like wrong been good like wrong man oh my gosh um so taking lessons on the guitar would open up a whole nother you know thing of inspiration you know tapping back into the bass I used to play the bass a lot but like I was very stubborn about like learning how to properly use it. I would just I was self-taught but now I'm very open to learning how to properly use the bass and even like if I learn the bass maybe I can learn the upright bass or you know um i would love to learn how to play the harp or the violin the saxophone for sure like so like 
I'm fully dedicated and committed right now. So I'm just grateful that I'm going to just, and it doesn't matter like where you are, where you are as a musician. I think it's important for you to make a, a decision. If you're going to be a producer, make the decision to be committed and do whatever it takes to learn more. Because I see a lot of producers right now, even big ones that are stuck because they don't take the time to learn more. And you're never, you're never, you're always a student. So this is why I'm never really stuck with like, oh, I don't know what to do. I'm just boring. I don't know what, like, no, like there's even like, um, there's a class, there's an academy called 1500 Academy that I want to go to. It's got like six in depth classes for music production where it's like music writing, uh, actual engineering production, um, biz music, music business, um, all that stuff, like there's so much. So I never really get uninspired. So if you feel uninspired, it's because you're limiting yourself to what you, what you have. And like, there's so much more. So if you feel like, you know, every instrument and you can't be inspired, then great. But i I'm pretty sure there's room to like take some lessons or to watch Skillshare or take a, um, watch YouTube videos you know, and apply what you, what you watch every day. I take the time every day to practice the piano. And when I practice the piano, I'm recording my practices because sometimes when I'm practicing, I end up learning something new, but that's part of a new song, you know, like this thing here. This right here, get this book here, look. The cord, the, the cord wheel. I don't know if you know what this is, but this is it. This right here, you get the, ooh, man, what? What? So basically you pick, you can pick the key. It tells you the one, the all of the one, one, two, three, four, five, da, 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 it tells you which one works. It's, oh, shut up. It, come on, maybe it's, okay. So if I go to the key of F, it says which key of F works good. It says, major seven major nine major 11 ma da, da, da. and then the two is a g minor and then it says minor seven minor nine minor 11 minor six uh, minor six and then um the three is the a minor and the only one is a minor seven come on it and then and this is a circle of fifths if you play the if you play the g and then go to the C, it's going to sound fine. And you go to the F, it's going to sound great. And then go to the B, it's going to, oh my God. And this is literally like a five page book of inspiration. Once you actually tap in and understand this, and then this isn't just one instrument, this is all of, all of instruments, like piano, bass. Um, so like even pulling up a sample and finding the key that it's in and then like, oh, let me just, I can mess around with different chord progressions. And then, yeah. 10 out of 10 piano lessons is a in-person 10, like game changer. So yeah. Yes, be your own or on orchestra, exactly. Um, thank you so much to God, Archer. Appreciate you. Oh, thank you so much. Um, I think, I think it, it comes very natural for me, you know, especially cause I've been doing it every day <laughs> for, for years, you know, um, yes. Yeah, shout out to disclosure, huge inspiration. Those are the guys, they, they use logic. They said they, they sound great in logic. I don't know we hate no logic, but. This disclosure uses a uh, logic. Um, thanks, uh, Vex E. I appreciate you um, and everybody else. Uh, yeah, some people learn a lot from trying things they wouldn't think of. Maybe it's a comfort thing, and I think that's true. There's so many things that I have right now in my my house that I haven't even tapped in that it's just like I there's no way I 
don't have anything to be inspired by. And then additionally, new things are coming out every day. I'm like, oh, 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 like, oh, like, oh my gosh. Um, yes, I'm actually thinking of making like a circle of fifths. I probably will. I probably will make a circle of fifths poster um, and t-shirt and like hoodie because we can look at it. Okay. <laughs> you know, because the circle of fifths is like, once I figure that out, that's how I was able to make the album that's coming out on the 24th. Like, I can make bridges, choruses, verses, you know. Yes. Vex even following me since North Carolina. Thank you. I appreciate that since since my mom's crib. <laughs> appreciate it. Well, it's 420. I've been here for the last two hours and 20 minutes. And I want to let you guys know that I appreciate you guys coming through today. Make sure you guys stream uh, my newest project. Let's play it real quick. The Art of Staying Present. Right now on all streaming platforms. This is a song I made from scratch using the Circle of Fifths. Did I use the Circle of Fifths? And also, like, go to your local Guitar Center. I love Guitar Center. I love going in there. This is where I got this keyboard. I, if I would have stuck to my, what I, you know, my normal, like, people get stuck in our comfort zone, I wouldn't have made this, this project that's coming out. I found this keyboard. It was an 81-key version it was too big for me, but I was like, I like the way it feels. I love the sounds. I immediately fell in love. But this is it's a keyboard from like 2006, 11 or something like that. So it's not made anymore. So it's not something that's like on YouTube or someone would have told me like, hey, this is the dope. It was basically me going around being inspired by just being open, you know, and it, it completely inspired so much music, like so much music. So so many ways um i hope that you're feeling inspired i love playing it too playing the piano game changer Tiny Desk. Tiny Desk is offering um, a comp a contest competition. I maybe I'll I don't know. I, maybe I'll sign up. Maybe I will. What do you think? NPR Tiny Desk. I could play. I could play. I could play now. Shit. I just need me a little band. <laughs> Yeah, so immediately touch that keyboard, the best keyboard I've ever plus 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 flicked around with. 
um, semi-weighted keys, not too heavy, not too light. The the sound selection immaculate. Just I and I will love to buy a real rose. Roads. Oh, anyways, make sure you guys check out. Make sure you guys check out the artist uh, "Staying Present" by Sarah the Instrumentalist. Um, and also, like I said, this video is sponsored by Distro Kids. So if you guys want to release music like I do consistently, sign up. Seven percent off your first year is only nineteen ninety nine a year. It's crazy. Like no excuse, twenty bucks one year, seven percent off. It also helps this channel. Any of the links down below help this channel. I appreciate you guys coming through, listening to my music, watching me upload to Distro Kid, and also making two new beats that's going to be released. I'm going to make sure these songs are completed throughout this week, and then maybe next Friday we'll upload up, upload them. Maybe every Friday we'll upload music to Distro Kid because this is it's the that's the game. It's rinse, cycle, repeat. Whatever they call, whatever they say. Is that how they say? Rinse, cycle, rinse, cycle. You know what I mean. You know, you know what I mean. Um, but anyways, appreciate you guys for coming through. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'll be back here next Friday, 2 p.m. Every Friday on YouTube. And if you guys follow me on Twitch, I'll get on there randomly at Sarah2ill. I love you guys.